This is Pastor Gabriel Swaggart, and welcome once again to one of these video blogs. We're so happy to have you joining us wherever in the world you may be. And uh, we we'll are just thank you for tuning in and subscribing to this YouTube channel. And we're just glad that we were able to come before you uh, each and every single day. Well, at least we try to each and every single day teaching something. And hopefully we'll bring you a little bit of encouragement in these uh, daily video blogs. Today, um, I want to kind of go continue in the realm of healing. Um, as I was sitting here just a moment ago and asking in, in my spirit and asking the Lord what He would want me to, to deal with here today, and maybe thinking about going away and going back to what we were dealing with previously, but there's just something that came into my spirit that I wanted to talk about just for a few moments. We'll take the rest of the week to get through it. And the subject that really kept bringing, coming back into my spirit is that healing is here. And I, I don't understand and I, I may not know all that you're facing. I may not know the situations that you're going through. I may not understand the things that you're facing right now. But I do want you to know that healing is here. And I don't mean physically here in this office, but I mean here where you are. Healing is here. You see, the Lord is able to heal the heart, the mind, the body. He's able to heal the financial strains. He's able to heal the family. He's able to heal in whatever, in whatever realm or whatever way that is needed. And I want to come before you here just for a moment here today. And like I said, I won't, uh, we won't be able to cover everything here today. I'm just going to cover a little bit uh, at a time. And, and I pray that this week regarding the subject of healing, not only physically but in any realm that is needed, I, I pray that the Lord will minister to you. We're going to come to you from uh, the book of Exodus. Exodus is one of my favorite books in the entirety of the Word of God. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to read a little bit more text than normal, but we'll go into it here. Exodus 15, 22, verses uh, 26. And let's read right now. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And there they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called bitter. And I want to stop there. You know, I want to deal with this just for a moment. We'll, we'll break it down later on, but let's deal with the bitterness of life. As the children of Israel were wandering in this wilderness, they had just experienced the miracle of the Red Sea. And yet God brings them in a wilderness where three days journey they had no water. And they finally come to a place that had water. But when they begin to drink, they regurgitated it out because of the bitterness. That bitter water, the bitter waters of Mara, represents the bitterness of life. Every single one of us are going to experience the bitterness of life. This simply means that life is unfair. It simply means that life at times will throw you a curveball. It means that God will allow you to experience situations that we don't quite understand. Every child of God will experience the bitterness of life. But it's what we do during that bitter times that will either aid us, abet us, or leave us not only, well, it will leave us in a bitter state. The question that many Christians ask and, and, you know, we all have been there. When the bitterness of life comes, when experience comes that we don't quite understand, sickness, disease, divorce, problems, a financial strain, a loss of a job, 
all these things that take place that we it just kind of hits us right out of the blue if you're a Christian it kind of leaves us to ask the question why you know God why did this happen I, I don't care who you are there is not a child of God that is exempt from experiencing these bitter times look at the life of Job Job was at one point one of the only men that really knew God who lived in that part of the world. He was wealthy, but yet he had suffered more than any human being had ever suffered. And the question is asked, why? God, why did this happen? Everything that happens to us is either caused by God to happen or allowed by God to happen. That means everything. Nothing takes God by surprise. It takes us by surprise, but nothing takes Him by surprise. In fact, there are times where God will allow or even orchestrate those things to happen to show us really what's on the inside of us and at the same time to teach us to trust Him. That's hard to do. You can say right now, Lord, I trust you. But when you're in the middle of a battle, when you're in the middle of a situation, you don't really know what to do. It can be very difficult to say, Lord, I trust you. Instead, you may say, Lord, why? I don't understand why. But everything that God does is orchestrated by God or allowed by God to happen. And it's not for us to ask the question, why? But really, it's to ask the question, what? What are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to teach me in this time? Help me to understand what you're trying to teach me. It's not easy to go through these things. I know. It's not easy. When you go through life, and depression sets in. Oppression, sickness, disease. And you ask, why does this happen to me? I don't understand it. God, I've served you. I've done this and I've done that. Why? Before we leave today, we're going to have to go on this. It's going to take a lot longer to go through. But I want you to understand, number one, you're not alone. You are not alone. I know that you may think that I'm the only one going through this. No, you're not alone. But not only at the same time, not only are you not alone because others may be experiencing the same thing. You're not alone because God is with you. He may seem like he's a million miles away from you, but he's with you because his word is promised that he will never leave us, nor would he ever forsake us that he will sticketh closer than a brother. You're not alone. You are not alone. But he'll be there with you every step of the way. How do I know? Because I've been there. I, I haven't arrived. There are going to be some bitter waters that will come my way. But it's the faithfulness of God that if we trust Him, He will give us an answer. And we're going to talk about the answer. We're going to talk about what He does regarding the answer tomorrow. So if you're, if you're in the middle of this situation where the bitterness of life has crept up and you, it is taking you for a loop, I want you to hold on. Hold on. Your faith may be tested, but it is, to, it is for your benefit. And I'll explain it better tomorrow. We love you. God bless you.